Peter, many congratulations. A roller coaster of a game, roller coaster of emotions. Just try and sum up how you're feeling right now. Lucky, uh, happy, and uh, uh, obviously Joe was. Uh, was potentially coming tonight but she had to go down to Brentwood uh, just to get checked over and stuff like that and uh, um, I said to her you probably won't feel very well when you come back and I was right and she said well, well promise me you'll win uh, but I, I didn't mean it's supposed to be that close <laughs> but yeah I'm happy with a win obviously I got luck well as I both of us it was either way Dimi got lucky he missed I got lucky to get another shot the darts for 2 0. When you hit the one going for tops, the look on your face, I don't think I've ever seen you look oh, so yeah, surprised. But was, yeah. was that the turning point? Because at 2 0, you're in control at that point. Yeah, that was exactly. Yeah, exactly. That was like, I fancied that all day long, obviously, because I hit the 130 to, yeah. to win the set before when it was 2 2, and I fancied the 101 all day long. And I was like, and it, ugh, that was, oh, yeah. So, and I was that shot after one at home. Yeah. In my mind, well. <laughs> that that final leg of the match, you miss more match darts. You then have to watch Dimitri miss match darts. What goes through your mind at that point? Because you've won everything in this sport, but sat there at the hockey watching the big screen, like you said on Sky. What's that like? Yeah, I was just watching it, watching all that. I thought I got a lot. You know, yeah, I was surprised he didn't hit first start. You know how how good he is and stuff like that. So. But as I say, it's all, all down to the pressure. I don't know what it was going through his at the time, and um, but I'd, I'd snatched the last start for 57. But I didn't believe I was gonna I was gonna miss tops for the 57, and but I did. You know, it's just down to I think uh, respect for each other, and it was just that's why it was like back and forth all the, all the way through. Potential semi-final showdown with. Michael Van Gogh, and obviously he's still playing now, so we don't know. But you two have shared the stage many times and served up some absolute treats. And then a double in start, that'll be some battle. Well, we'll be if we both get off. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we could be there a little while. <laughs> so, oh, I don't know. Yeah, well, if, obviously he's, he's got to win the match first, and um, hopefully, you know, hopefully for the crowd and everyone else, and uh, everyone wants. You know, MVG to beat me, and uh, I, I would like to beat him. But you know, it's you know, in the past we've turned up together on stage, and it, it, it's not it's not done anything, has it? You know, but we have some crackers. Uh, but hopefully, it'll be a good one. Yeah, many congratulations. Cheers, buddy. Peter, was there a point where you thought you'd maybe blown it after those mismatch stars there? Yes. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I've done it again. Done it again. Done it in the match play, and I was, that was what that was going through in my head. And as soon as I wanted the, the twenty, obviously uh, after he missed, I went uh, right. Get out of your head. Just clear your head, and just just throw for it. And uh, I went in like the the world championships last start. <laughs> nice to get a bit of revenge from the match play. I know you've set the Euro Two final, but in terms of an yeah, yeah. This obviously uh, this is. Uh, more of a, you know, it's definitely a major that's uh, that I want to win, and uh, so yeah, that's uh, instead of European, no disrespect to Europeans, but you know, you want you want to win this one. Do you feel like it's going to take a strong performance to stop you picking up this title this weekend? Well, I don't, I don't, I know the average is terrible, but uh, but yeah, it was obviously whoever wins this match is you know, you know. Whoever's in the semi-finals, it's going to be a hard game because they, they've all played fantastic to get there. So uh, you know, so it'd be it's great for the crowd, just the top four in the world. Well, not top four in the world, you know, the four people left. Get myself in poo. <laughs> <laughs> um, Peter, these battles with Dimitri, they're becoming a bit of a running theme in the majors this year, aren't they? Yeah, well, tell him to move up in the rankings or something. <laughs> I can't move any further. <laughs> I'm number one. <laughs> yeah, tell him to move up the rankings and he won't run into me and he can uh, push everyone else. Uh, but, you know, that's, you know, I'm the old guy in, in the sport still left and uh, up at the top and uh, and he's, he's, he's the youngster who's going to be uh, and plenty of the other youngsters like Luke Humphreys and, you know, all the other guys like that. Uh, to Josh, Josh Rock, you know, who's doing magic stuff at the moment.
you know, he just needs that TV experience and watch watch that kid go as well. And uh, so, you know, they're the guys that be ruling the world, playing for loads of money while I, you know I'm sitting with my cup of tea and my pot noodle watching watching them all. When are you going to be sitting with your pot noodle and your cup of tea? How long have you got left? Do you think? Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have a long I've got. I'm going to go on a little bit further than Gezi said. That's the first interview I've, I've listened to. I don't normally listen to. <laughs> I thought, I think you're going to give up in eight years. I'm thinking, I'll only be 60. I can st <laughs> still rule the roost. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't know until uh, Joe tells me I can stop. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, guys. Thank you.